Hi, in this exercise, we are going to explain uh, how to set up the inventory accounts and how to enter the opening balances of the inventory parts and also uh, how to set up the service accounts, inventory service. So let's uh, click on this inventory and services uh, tab and then click on this inventory and services, add inventory. So we have two types of inventory here. One is uh, sales 50. <coughs> and this is course, course manual. Okay. And then uh, linked uh, units. Um, we don't have to do anything. Pricing, you don't have to linked. Yes. So asset is uh, inventory and uh, revenue is general training cost of goods sold is course material purchased okay and then um, history uh, opening quantity how many quantities do we have we have 500 of says 50 and opening value is 6500 dollar so save and close Next one is QuickBook. Add inventory and service. Okay, and this one is uh, QuickBooks. Okay, and then this is also course manual. And linked account asset again inventory. Revenue general training. Cost of goods sold. Course material purchased and statistics uh, or history sorry history opening quantity is 200 of the manuals that we have as opening inventory opening value is 3500 dollars so save and close so now we have to add one more uh, service account uh, that is called general uh, training we're going to use it when we uh, when we uh, sell our when we sell our services when we create invoices for our customers. So instead of uh, selecting this inventory here, we need to select service. And then course number, you can put general training. Description also general training. Okay, pricing is regular course is $2,000 each. Uh, link revenue account is general training expense course material purchased and we don't need anything else so just save and close so it's set up now manuals or inventory let's see the first one uh, says 50 2000 manuals from a rock fellow incorporated so let's add this rock fellow as one of your vendors <coughs> add supplier rock fellow and save and close okay supplier invoice create invoice and here you select that vendor invoice number is given so you put the invoice number 3745 or whatever the invoice number is date is december 5th <coughs> how many did we buy okay so 2000 and then item number again you know click on item number and then we are buying sales 50 2000 2000 and the cost uh, of this manual is a uh, 15 dollar each so 31 uh, 30000 dollar altogether and then tax 5% so here it is the total cost is 31500 so process
process okay the next one is uh, quickbooks you are buying 1001 manual from high arctic incorporated so let's add high arctic <clears throat> as one of your vendors suppliers add supplier and then the vendor name is high arctic save and close and supplier invoice invoice create invoice select that uh, high arctic invoice number whatever the number is given maybe 454 the date is december 5th okay item number <clears throat> we're going to choose quickbooks and then how many we're buying 1000 so the cost is 18 dollar per copy gst is uh, there so the total cost is 18900 then process so done we did not pay for these invoices so when we pay then we will go to this uh, payment section pay purchase invoice select the vendor and then pay